everyone welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been a while but no it's just been a week so that is okay in today's video we're gonna do a little what to eat in toronto i get this question all the time like hey hey tam do you know any places to eat in toronto we're going to toronto for the weekend and i'm like when i'm put on the spot like literally nothing nothing when i say nothing nothing comes to my head so i'm like okay let me sit down let me see like some of the places that i like in toronto let me do a little <laughs> video so let's get into it so i had to actually write this down because like as i said like it's hard for me just to pick things out of my memory so I sat down I went on my laptop and started writing things down like come on I feel great I feel great I feel productive I feel like I'm back in school I feel like I'm doing a little study but yeah let's let's get into it okay so first on my list let me see you know it's a lot of notes not that much but it's it's quite a bit it's a bit all right so first we have manga i hope i pronounced that right i'm gonna try to like insert some pictures here of like when i've been to the restaurant but we'll see because my editing is boo-boo i use what's free thanks all right so into it we have manga and manga is basically a taiwanese style fried chicken restaurant and like the first time i went to it i'm like oh, okay fried chicken Taiwanese okay but yeah so into it manga is a Taiwanese fried chicken place and like their chicken is huge and it is super tasty um super juicy they fry it well it's abnormally big so kind of suspect but hey it works and also they have like other little things like beside fried chicken but when I went I got the fried chicken and I believe I got it with fries and I think they put like different types of seasoning on it. It's not like a batter, it's like a season. So it's like a little sprinkle of a season. And I believe I got the spicy one because I love spicy food. I love it. Like, if you don't, whatever. But I love spicy food. So basically, yeah, manga is a fried chicken place. And if you love fried chicken, you will love manga because it's juicy. It's fried chicken. And don't we love seasoned chicken? Yes, we do. All right, to the second place. We have Dirty Bird. I feel like I'm doing a lot of fried chicken places, but Dirty Bird is bomb. Also, it's in Kensington Market. And if you know anything about Toronto, Kensington Market is where it's at. I mean, a lot of places in Toronto is where it's at. Kensington Market is definitely a place to go when you're visiting Toronto. It's very touristy. I wouldn't even say it's very touristy. There's just a lot of locals there. There's a lot of love in that one place. Also, it's right beside Chinatown. So, hey, two birds and one stone. Anyway, Dirty Bird. Dirty Bird is really good. It's kind of pricey. I think um, when I got it, it was about 20 bucks for like some fried chicken and waffles. And, but their fried chicken and waffles is so good the chicken is super juicy the waffles are beautiful like they are whatever baked whatever how waffles are made it's made just right and also not only that is that they give you a sauce that goes with your fried chicken and waffles and like a syrup and it's just like it's not like your regular degular syrup it's like some good syrup so yeah dirty bird second place now let's go on to the third place okay in third place let's see what we have in my little notes because i got notes i make notes all right third place so if you're like me and your palate is culturally blessed like so i love ramen my husband loves ramen we were made for each other because we like ramen joking there's other stuff obviously but ramen is amazing so let's talk about some ramen places that i 
loves. But I'm only going to talk about two because we don't want this to be a whole thing about ramen. This is still going to be about Toronto food and what we want to eat. Toronto, right? When we're visiting, right? So let's get into the first ramen place. The first ramen place, I believe, is pronounced Raijin Ramen or Ramen Raijin. I'll put it right here, correct spelling. So Raijin Ramen, Ramen Raijin, whatever, that place is amazing. Say hello to guests. Smile and make a bow. All right, so Raijin Ramen is amazing. I believe they have seven different types of ramen. I usually go with the spicy ramen, of course, because spicy ramen is where it's at, obviously. You can tell spicy ramen is where it's at because spicy ramen is usually more expensive than the other ramens. But their spicy ramen is so good, so good. And it hurts me so much because there's no places in Cleveland that are at least as half as good as Rachel Ramen. Half as good. And that's not even the best like ramen place in Toronto. But it is a very good ramen place. Very affordable. A lot of different choices. Like I think my husband he usually gets like a more fish based um, broth ramen, which is also very good, but I just like spicy. Okay, on to the what are we at? Fourth place? Yeah, fourth place, which is also another ramen place. I don't want to butcher the name, so I'll put it right here. And this ramen place is actually a Michelin star ramen place. Like, Michelin star ramen in Toronto? Are you serious? When I found out this place was a Michelin star ramen place, I'm like, we got it. We, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go to that place and get that Michelin star ramen because that Michelin star ramen is probably gonna be some bomb ramen. And let me tell you, that Michelin star ramen place, which is, was some bomb ramen. I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere on this screen with that Michelin star ramen. I got the spicy one and I asked for a little bit more spice so they gave me a little bit more like, you know, chili stuff on the side which was so good. Their broth was rich. Their ramen noodles were cooked perfectly. It literally is like... Oh, but this ramen was so good. Like, so good. And like, if you're going to Toronto and you are a ramen fan, definitely have to check out these two ramen places. If you're in Toronto for the first time, it's going to be hard to have two, eat at two different ramen places. But choose either or and I'm pretty sure you will be so happy with your choices. Trust fam. Okay, on to the sixth place, which we have here in my notes because notes are important to have. Okay, so we got Raging Ramen, this ramen, and the fifth place I tell people this all the time. It's like the one of the first things that come to my head when someone hits me up and like, hey, Tam, I'm going to Toronto. Where should I go to eat? I always say this place, and it is El Furniture Warehouse. El Furniture Warehouse is like, it is like a godsend to Toronto to be like, hey, you're broke, but you want to eat and you want to drink, go here and have a good time with your friends. That is L Furniture. That is the warehouse. That is the blessedness of the warehouse. L Furniture is that place. And let me tell you why it's that place. L Furniture, how do I say it? Each meal is $5. But yeah, as I was saying like the last time, see, I forgot my thoughts so easy. This is why I have to write everything down. Everything down. So L Furniture. Yeah, each meal is five dollars but uh, did I just forget that again okay so the last time I was there it actually went up in price I think it was $5.99 I'm not sure do not quote me and also not only that L furniture has some really good drinks like you're not gonna want to go to L furniture and not have a good drink as the drinks on the menu are not even that expensive like a corona Rita could be like $13 and it's huge like you're gonna like a full is it a full-size corona I can't remember it's been so long I've not been back to Toronto in so long but their drinks are amazing like you probably end up having two three drinks 
in one setting. Also, I recommend if you're going there for the food, the food is really good. Like their burgers are really good. Five dollar burger or six dollars now. Their mac and cheese is really good, and their wings are pretty decent for the price. Five. I think you get like eight wings, and it's like five dollars. So everything is pretty decent for the price. I love their mac and cheese. Like I always go there and get mac and cheese all the time. I love me some good mac and cheese and they put like a little paprika on it or I think it's paprika and that just sets it off you know for a five dollar mac and cheese with some paprika hey who could go wrong not me because that's what I get so if you're going to Toronto I definitely recommend going to Elf Furniture because you won't regret it all right where am I like so what we have next is a tiki bar not any tiki bar this tiki bar is called the shameful tiki room they have really good shareable drinks so you know if you're my age or 19 and up and you want to go out with your friends not like super late but because i don't know if they if this store stays open super late i think it's like a regular time because it is a sit down restaurant but it is a tiki bar at the same time they serve really good drinks very good shareable drinks you know picture worthy you're gonna want to snapchat it with your friends because it just looks so delish it's that kind of tiki bar and also it's like a tiki bar that is bang for your buck so you're gonna taste your alcohol when you buy it so yeah side note i've been hearing you guys about you know different video suggestions and i am gonna get to it especially the skincare routine a lot of you guys been asking me for a skincare routine and i just want it to be perfect i want it to be perfect for you guys i want you guys to enjoy it and so on but i want my skin routine to be bomb i'm also trying out different products because i just had an eczema outbreak and if you can see it on my face please don't comment on it because i am very shy about it so i've had an eczema outbreak on my eyelids around my lips and my lips are extra ashy so excuse me while i get my bliss decks because a girl's ashy very ashy and all right everyone i'm back with somewhat moisturized lips because it is definitely more winter than it is fall like fall came with vengeance winter came back with vengeance so <laughs> anyways let's get back into this video so where i was at the tiki bar so yeah the tiki bar has great shareable drinks um if you're going with a group to toronto you will definitely love it if you want to you know save a little bit of money here and there split in one big fish bowl you will love it and you will definitely feel that alcohol <laughs> obviously in moderation on to the seventh, we are going into Eva, Eva's, I don't know, I think it's Eva's, but basically it's called the original chimney, and it is a place where you can get chimney cones, which is also known as donut cones, I, okay, so when this place came to Toronto, I was so excited because I love ice cream, not only do I love ice cream, my biggest weakness when it comes into the sweets world I love donuts. I love donuts so much. They have so many different varieties of ice cream, ice cream, ice cream toppings. Like you get like um, you could get white chocolate drizzle. Like you get like strawberries in the cone. You can get so much stuff. Like there's so much varieties of different flavors. Like it has a flavor for everybody everyone will have a flavor that they will absolutely love not only that it's a donut cone like after you're done the ice cream you get to the donut cone in your house and then you're having a donut which tastes amazing because it's like it's like moist with yeah it's just like moist with like ice cream flavor and packed with flavor i mean i always end up eating the whole cone like also they have different sizes so you get like a small donut cone or a big donut cone it's all up to you but give in to that sweet tooth 
you know we're meant to be great we're meant to explore our taste buds so why wouldn't you go and have a donut cone do it do it for the culture who cares about weight who cares about any of that thing who cares who cares about any of those things so at eight we have peace treats and peace treats is just as amazing just as amazing as it sounds like a dessert place called peace treats like all they want is to create peace with awesome treats it is basically a milkshake and it's like um the donut cones it has a variety of different flavors and the last one i had i actually had um it was like a strawberry milkshake i think and it had an icing rim with like candy on it and then on top of it it had a big cake and like i think my friends got like cookies on theirs or um like chocolate chocolate cake vanilla cake anything or donut but it's basically like a sugar rush in a cup might as well let's get into the last one so the last one we have don't judge me don't judge it just go you this is like the place that you might see your friend snapchat and be like what that is a little odd why would someone do that why would someone make a restaurant like that why the question is why i don't know but it works. It definitely works. And this place is called the Poop Cafe. Things like milkshakes, pastries, ice cream, shaved ice cream. They have so much different varieties of things, along with a lot of matcha flavored things, along with other flavored things that, you know, it's just a good restaurant, good presentation, good, good pastries, good desserts. It's awesome. So that was my last recommendation for at least this video. And if you guys like this video, please let me know because I have not even touched the fringes. Not even the fringes of what you could have in Toronto, of what you could do in Toronto, of what you can eat in Toronto, of what you can enjoy in Toronto. Anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. It just won't stop. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding?